Hey everyone and welcome back to Vero's Vlogs. On today's video, I know I'm like forever late on this video, but um, I was tagged by Laura Moya um, to do the sweet tooth challenge, I think it's what it's called, the sweet tooth, the sweet tooth challenge, um, to celebrate um, the 2K of the Keeping Up With The Griffins. So congratulations Griffins on reaching out your 2K. I know it's probably like weeks late, but here I am doing it with my little sister Carol, which yeah. you all know and love. Um, I will be leaving the rules down in the description below, but I'll go ahead and tell you real quick. Um, so basically, you have to choose um, two cookies, which I like this one's right here. And Carol wanted like the chocolate chip chewy kind, so I got her that. You have to have two scoops of ice cream and then two toppings. But since I can make up my mind, I have caramel, um, rainbow sprinkles, and pecans. I like my ice cream to have some kind of crunch. And then of course, I couldn't decide on what flavor ice cream. So we have here um, peaches and cream. I've been eyeing this for a while, so I was like, today's the day. And then Carol and I like the coffee flavor, and I like this brand, it's pretty good. And then we got the French vanilla. So the rules are you have to also finish this in two minutes. So you're going to scoop your two balls of ice cream, decorate it, and all that fun stuff, and then finish it in two minutes. We are going to get time, by the way. So without further ado, let's get started with this video. Smells good. Okay, so I bought the, I brought the scoop. And just what it's there. Me when I work at Coldstone? Actually. <laughs> Me when I used to work at Coldstone. So, what flavor are you getting? Coffee and vanilla? Yeah. I knew it. I'm gonna get. um Iberito. So, like, do you like a C? Yeah. Do you want me to help you? Yeah. I don't me when I'm a dumbass. Guys, mm -hmm. ayer fui al mall y me compré una gorda animal. This bitch was 40. Damn girl. My colo on the floor. But, like, me pesó because it's like I spent it on myself. This is a tiny. This is not even a. You know what I mean? This. Let's let's talk about how ratchet this looks. This is not even Girl, a ball. That's like half a ball. We like big balls <laughs> of ice cream. <laughs> um. Yeah, I better get a girl. Get like some charco solera. We better get this, guys. Technical issues. Okay. So technically. Oops. Okay, that would be a ball, right? And then you want vanilla. Bro, if you work that La Michoacana, they'd fire you. And they're like, no, I'm just clean this today, you really fast. Yeah, that's why we're not about to make a mess. Con dos? Yeah. That's a ball. That's a ball, right? I'm gonna Put do the water on your side. I'm gonna do vanilla and peaches and cream. Yellow cero? Yeah. Okay, I don't know if this is a, a ball, but yeah, I don't have a scooper. Apparently the one I had broke. Ah. Okay, that's a scoop, right? What do you guys think? Do you think it's a scoop? That looks fire, the peaches and cream. Right. Okay, we'll just say that that's a scoop. Now... I don't like chocolate. But you like chocolate. Chip. But chocolate chip cookies? Yeah. yeah. I love these ones. 
Should I do this in flavor? Let's do chocolate, just for the fun of it. All right, so that's my ice cream, and then that's Gato's. So we're gonna go ahead and put the timer. Our cerebros are gonna freeze. It should be the brain freeze challenge, not the sweet tooth challenge. For real. Okay. Okay. Let the best one win. Ready, okay. set, <laughs> go. Okay? Oh, fuck. Mm. Mm. You want to go that lower? There you go. Mm. Mm. Look at the camera, sis. Oh my god. Santo Wait, less than a minute. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna finish it. My chest, my soul, my head, and my heart hurt. Oh my god. Oh. Mm. I'm feeling it in my muelas. 25 seconds. I'm just enjoying it because I know I'm gonna lose, so. Mm. Your battery. Okay. Look, you guys. And then, almost there. I mean, I still have some in my mouth when the timer went off. But it was a cookie. All right. So who do you guys think won? I mean, it's obvious, right? But. That was the dumbest question, bro. Who won? <laughs> Yo, me. Obvio. Anyway, <laughs> I know that they had to tag other people, but to what I've seen, there's a lot of people that I follow that have been tagged. But if you not have done this challenge, go ahead and do it. It's so much fun. It is really sweet. But yeah, thank you Gata for joining me. And again, congratulations, keeping up with the girlfriends for your 2K subscribers. Okay, so this is the next day. I was in bed last night and I totally forgot that we needed to say two things that we've learned from doing YouTube. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do it here real quick. Even though my channel isn't super, super, super big like other people's. But one of the things that I've learned here on YouTube is that if you support other channels, they'll support you back. If you don't, you won't get any support whatsoever. I've, I've, I mean, I've come and seen that there's some channels that have come back or that they don't come back at all. So it's basically like support one another. If you don't, they're not going to support you back. Or even then sometimes you support, you support them and then they don't support you back. But one of the others. But that's what I've learned. Always support one another because it's fair. We're all in this together. Um, number two. Um, let's see. And this is something that I've learned not really from like the new YouTubers that I've come across, but like from other big creators and what I've seen and what I feel or the vibe that I get. I'm just, this is just my vibe. That a lot of people upload 
to just upload not really because they're feeling it you know like I feel like you want to be as real as possible I mean of course I mean sometimes you're not gonna come in vlog well, when you're like your most vulnerable or whatever you know when you're like having a meltdown I mean I've cried here on YouTube but like you know what I mean like a lot of people I've noticed like like the bigger youtubers out there when I would like watch them they were like oh my god I enjoyed the content some of them and then they started becoming more famous and stuff and they would just upload to upload and it wasn't as enjoyable so I feel like if you're gonna upload here on YouTube do it because you want to I know that sometimes things happen and we are just not feeling motivated then don't do it don't upload because you have to do it because you want to you feeling it in that moment and I feel that that's when your video is going to be the most enjoyable. That's just how I feel. I don't know. Because yeah, there's been times where I feel zero motivated and I just don't do it. So that's another thing that I've um, learned. Um, I'm going to throw something in here too. It's not like a thing. But like I know that sometimes we get discouraged when our videos only have certain views. And you're like, but this video had more views than this one. And this one, I actually enjoyed doing it more than the other. And it has less views. Like, what's going on, you know? So we get discouraged. But you know what? Just keep on going. If 20 people watch your videos, do it for that. If 50 people do it or watch your videos, just keep uploading. And little do you know, you're going to be growing and growing and growing. Um, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below, share, subscribe, and like it, and all the fun stuff. So we will see you guys on the next video. Bye!